All right, YouTube, here's another one. Um, we have Neo Nectar, so why not premium Neo Nectar? Yay! Um, in all seriousness, premium Neo Nectar is ass. There is no synergy with G support outside of the name Musketeer, so it really doesn't work well together. So because of that, this deck gets kind of mm, mm, wonky. So, full disclosure, I'm not trying to make this deck meta, just trying to make it fun. It's not going to be meta. So this deck is going to is probably the in terms of ratios the weirdest list I've ever made. So, we're just here to have fun and uh, have a good old time. So, Starters Kira, because a bunch of things retire in uh, premium and with standard, so don't really want to lose that starter. And, you know, the draw is nice, especially because um, consistency gets kind of... Cons this deck could, could benefit from a bit more consistency. Uh, grade 3 is running four copies of... White Lily Musketeer Captain Cecilia, or just Cecilia rather. Um, it's a Musketeer with a gift, which is great for synergy. If you go, if you're riding to Grade Three first, she has a good skill, and yeah, she's a good card. Um, because of how the issue with Neo Nectar G units is. They're either Musketeer restricted or Bloom restricted, so you really don't have access to a lot of them. So I have actually found moments where I would rather use her skill than Stride. So that's how you. That's a great testament for what's going to happen with this deck. Three Lantana Musketeer Rosita. Luar, it's Luard and Gurgit's baby. Um, striding without needing to use hand is pretty cool. Um, free plus, it goes with the theme of tokens of free plusing with its uh, stride bonus. So, yeah. Grade twos, we're running four copies of Sylvia because it's a free plus one. There's a Musketeer G unit that actually doesn't need to retire Musketeer for cost. So you can just eject a bunch of tokens and then kill them to call actual units, which is pretty dope. So, using her at 4 for the 10k body, plus free tokens for early game. 4 of my girl, Prunus Arlotta Musketeer Tessa. It's been a while, so I'll give a refresh. When another Musketeer is placed, if you have 3 or more other Musketeers, so counting the one you place, Tessa gets 2k, and if you have a Musketeer ace up in G-Zone, Tessa, her, uh, the card you call, gets 4k. Um... She's really good with New Cecilia, just because you call a bunch of things, and if you have, and you can just give her power in the early game, because you'll, if you're at grade three and you're using Cecilia, your opponent's probably at grade two, so being able to proc test his ability while also getting calls is pretty dope. Also, obviously, she's good in late game. Uh, three copies of Augusto. Uh, early game is important, more so because standard cards exist so we need to get rid of cards that say gb this card lets you go fast it can hit an opponent it can hit unboosted because it's the 12k um this deck gives really weird power increments like there's some fours and some twos so being a 12k actually alters some numbers also there weren't really any other grade two musketeers that i want to run uh the deck gets kind of counterblast heavy so i'm trying to like lower that and I can't find some of my extras, but honestly, I like having Augusto. He's, he's uh, good for rushing. He's a 17k column with um, plant tokens, which hits non-force decks. Uh, four copies of Rebecca. You actually get plant tokens out a little bit because you have mark targets. She gives 5k to non-tokens, just any grade one or less, and she's a musketeer. Again, deck gets kind of CB heavy, so I don't want to run the original. Um, the 5K is nice. 
you I, I honestly have used enough tokens where I have warranted running her, so I'm glad that she's in the deck. Uh four copies of Merka, your other token generator, and because her uh rearguard skill is not once per turn, you can do some fun battle phase shenanigans, and it helps just power her up even more, so she can become a pretty big girl with this deck. Uh, three copies of Stokasia Musketeer Daphne. It's the Musketeer Stride Fodder. So if you have a Musketeer Vanguard, you can use her as Stride Cost. And when you discard her for a uh, Stride, Counterblast 1, check top 4, call a Musketeer. It's not free, but it's a Counterblast 1 for a plus 1. And in Musk, given how the pre-V Musketeers function, that's pretty good. And it's a stride fodder, which is always pretty nice to have. Last grade one, we're running two copies of Artemisia Musketeer Kiara. Um, again, grade zeros is where the grades are going to get wonky. So um, I am running two of the draw PG. I'm running two grade ones, though, because Neonector doesn't really like draws a whole lot. Just because of you like having call targets and stuff. So, But she's a good draw PG. She's a decent grade one. Uh, the only other grade one I could think of running is like Ruth. So like she's good. And honestly, I I like uh, once you get to the trigger lineup, I'll explain why I'm only running two draws. So as I said, two draws. It's uh this is the PG lineup just because you want four PGs. Um. I wanted to put some of the PGs in triggers uh, just so I could run other grade ones that weren't PGs just because so we could have more space. Um, the draw PGs, are, it's a draw, so it's still pretty cool, and it's a 10k trigger, and it's still a PG, so it's pretty cool. Uh, four copies of Watering Elf. Because you can use plant tokens now, um... And you can use those as retire fodder. You don't really want to call triggers. So, like, if you really whiff the calls, then that sucks. But honestly, because of the speed of the game, the 20k shield, or G guards, so the 10k on the trigger is honestly a lot more important than running the musketeer trigger with the G guard skill. And, like, honestly, part of why I'm doing that is... The 10k thing is true, but I'm also a wee bit lazy, and I don't feel like swapping out triggers. So, yeah. But, yeah. Watering Elf is good. It's a 10k trigger. We are running four copies of Gardenia Musketeer Allen. Countercharging is kind of necessary for this deck on place by an effect. Countercharge 2, which is good. So, like, this really is the one trigger you want to call just because of that effect. And it's a good effect, too, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, four copies of Night Queen Musketeer Daniel. It's a Musketeer trigger from V, so it's a Musketeer with a better trigger stat, so God bless. And then two copies of Chestnut Bullet, because we're owing 10 crit, because we have... Oh, I'll explain why in a hot sec, but also, killing is important. So we gotta get those crits down people's throats... But draws for whatever consistency that a lot and grade one freedom is definitely helpful. And last for the main deck, we're running two copies of Kaluna Musketeer Elma. I really like her because what she does is when your Vanguard attacks, you counterblast one, put her to the bottom of the deck, check top four, call a Musketeer with 4k, and then shuffle. So if you have two, you can call two dudes with 4k. And you can abuse force markers with this, which is really nice. I've had two force markers on one circle, and I had Elmo call a card with plus 24, which is great. Or I've had two force markers on separate circles and used double Elma to get two dudes with plus 14. So, battle phase calling shenanigans. This is part of why I don't run stands, just because I'm, I'm thanks to Elma, I can kind of have a standing front row anyways. So, I like it. Onto the G zone, which is a sentence I haven't said in a deck profile in a long time. 
Uh, do I have 16 of these? 4, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's pretend Seabreeze is here. Oh, wait, no, Zoa. Zoa's a card. Uh, I, I really, really don't feel like getting Zoa out right now because it's in my backpack, which is in a different room. So one of the cards in this deck is Zoa, so just remember Zoa is here. Um, four copies of uh, Virginal Cecilia, which is honestly the only unit you go into because it's kind of us want to retire a unit, including plant tokens, or it's retire as many units as you want. And Persona Flip, which is important. So, kind of us want Persona Flip, retire as many units as you want, uh, tokens included. Check top seven and call Musketeers from them. And for each Musketeer face-up in G-Zone, all the cards called get 3k. So, uh, you c if you get, like, the Merca Sylvia ride... Um, ride off, you get two tokens, and then when you go into the Cecilia, you get two, at least two dudes for free, which is really nice, and they're at plus three, and she becomes even stronger as the game goes on, which is pretty nice. Um, next, running four copies of Myra. Uh, you still have a lot of Musketeers in the main deck, so if all is going to hell, or you already have kind of a field presence, you can just go into her and just eject a bunch of cards from your hand and give them all a bunch of power. Abuses with Force Markers. And because her ability is auto, um, you can make fun plays with um, Alma, like I said, Alma can abuse Force Markers. When you're on Myra with Alma in Force Markers, the numbers can get kind of wonky, which is cool. Uh, two copies... Oh, yeah, two copies of White Lily Cecilia. You have a Cecilia heart because that's what they decided to retrain, which is cool. Um, again, most things are either Bloom, Asha, or whatever centric, so you kind of can't use a lot of the G units. Because a lot of things are either like Bloom or based on clones, so it's not worth it. Uh, G guards. Two Antero. It's a Musketeer as a G guard. It helps fill up the Musketeer Gs and for Cecilia. Also, it can become a 35k shield, which is a uh, wild. Uh, Rain Breath. Let's you call things for 5k. So you can call Sylvia, get a token, and f free 5 shield. It's a very, very low... Uh, what's the word? Low commitment 5k. And then Dismal to protect things. And then remember, um, Zoa exists. Again, I didn't put a lot into this deck because Premium Musketeers really isn't good. And I don't really want to try to make it amazing. So I'm just here to have fun, and when this deck works well, when this deck can actually go off, it can get really f uh, fucking fun with um, Elma and Force Markers and things like that. So, um, if you have an idea for a Musketeer premium deck that you would like to comment and want me to try out, feel free. I might do it. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, peace out.